Oh, hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from Salads, Sandwiches, and Savories that was published in the UK in 1905, we're going to be making the anchovy and lox sandwich. It says to use very thin bread, so I'm going to put this in my slice of slice. Ta-da! Thin slices of bread. Next, we're to add anchovy paste to butter. Two to one ratio here. <laughs> now we spread that on one of the slices of bread. Now we have to chop up some uh, lox and add that to our sandwich thickly. Not specify how much lox to use, so winging it. Next, we add mayonnaise to the other slice of bread and take a picture. Okay, let's give this anchovy and lox sandwich a go. This is not bad. So the original recipe uh, called for two tablespoons of anchovy paste to four tablespoons of butter. Obviously that would make way too much for just one sandwich. So I took the ratio of two to one. I did two teaspoons of butter and one teaspoon of anchovy paste. I think it would be better if it was just two teaspoons of uh, butter and maybe a half teaspoon of anchovy paste. It's not bad. The mayonnaise is helping to offset it. The salmon is helping to offset it, but it's still a little bit too powerful. Um, I'm going to try and plus this up so that it gets uh, to the right ratio. I'm going to add just a hint of lemon juice and a goodly amount of fresh dill. Okay, let's give this anchovy and lox sandwich plussed up with a little bit of lemon juice and a fair amount of dill a go. Totally did the trick. So the acidity of the lemon completely kind of negating the overpowering nature of the anchovy paste. And now it's relegated to sort of like a background note of salt. And the dill is just bringing this nice fresh herbaceousness. This is good now. I gotta say the original anchovy and lox sandwich was not bad and it was very close to being good. I just think that the ratio of anchovy paste to butter was a little bit too high for my liking. I'm probably give that, and this is clearly like a tea sandwich. This is not intended to be something that's gonna fill you up for lunch. I'm gonna give the original, I think I'll probably give that five. It's not bad enough to get a four, but it's not, it's not good enough to get a, a higher than that. Plusing up with the lemon juice and the fresh dill, that's now like an eight tea sandwich. That is delicious. I'm definitely gonna finish that, and I think I would make this again, uh, but I would do it as sort of like an appetizer. I would do the plussed up version, and I'd probably dial back the anchovy paste just a little bit, even though the lemon juice and the dill really did a great job of uh, masking it, um, just to make sure that it wasn't too overpowering for some folks. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. Oh, hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Salads, Sandwiches, and Savories in 1905, we're going to be making the anchovy and lox. Okay, let's give this lox and anchovy sandwich plussed up with a little lemon juice and a good amount of fair... No. I gotta say the original... La... 